So I just saw Beetlejuice 2 and if you are a fan of the first movie, you are gonna love the Beetlejuice 2. So this video will be full of spoilers, so it's just my opinion what they could have done way better. So if you have seen the movie, you have seen the, the Beetlejuice backstory, how he died, the introduce of Dolores, who was a soul sucking cult. Oh yeah, you could say that again. She basically killed Beetlejuice with poison and before Beetlejuice died, he chopped up Dolores. And we see also Lydia having her own TV show, having a daughter, Astrid Deeds, played by Jenna Ortega amazingly. And basically the movie focused in the beginning, like with Astrid and that boy Jeremy, her love interest. And we find out that Jeremy was actually a murderer. He killed his parent, and when the police came to arrest him, he fell off the tree and he died. But he lies to Astrid, he says, like, no, my parents like uh, used to fight a lot and I took six pack of beers and I uh, drank a lot and I fell off the tree and I died. So if you come to, with me to the uh, to the other world, to the undead world, I don't remember, <laughs> sorry, you can give me my life back. And they go to the, you know, to the, to the dead. And we find out like that Jeremy tricks Astrid and they change position. What I mean by that? Like Astrid becomes dead and Jeremy becomes alive. But then the story, like they leave that story like in the side and we focus Dolores, the ex-wife of Beetlejuice. But like Dolores does only two things. He sucks souls, oh yeah, and she just walks. Like we don't see any big fight. Why we don't see more of Jeremy and Dolores? Like. Why you don't show the Jeremy Buck story, like American Horror Story? Why we don't see why he did all that stuff? Why he became evil? What was the point? Or you could do like, like only Jeremy was dead and he was actually a good kid, but he wanted to be back in life. So Astrid can help him actually to get back in life and surprise his parents and that stuff, like to make something better. Like Dolores only interacts with Beetlejuice in the last minute and she dies like immediately with Rory. Or is the husband who takes Lydia? You have seen the movie. I'm not gonna explain the whole movie. So yeah, that's that's the only bad thing. Like you could expand more on the Jeremy story. Side note: William Dafoe and Beetlejuice, like they were the peak of this movie. Those two, <laughs> like okay, hands down. Like yeah, I don't wanna. I don't want this video to be like a large one, but. Okay, you make Jeremy bad, he was an evil guy, so as a backstory, why? You can't just introduce him for the beginning and then forget him and then in the end, oh yeah, uh, Beetlejuice tricks him, uh, go to hell, bye, see ya, oh. So that meant nothing, cool, okay. And Dolores just walked, just walked in the whole movie, like, make Jeremy and Dolores work together and be evil, or make Jeremy actually a good kid uh, that he wants to be back in life and fix things i don't know something like that like what's your opinion about the about the beetlejuice too that was my only bad thing that we didn't have more of jeremy backstory and more of the relationship and about dolores like the backstory of beetlejuice and the backstory of dolores we see beetlejuice how he how he lived it and how he died and that like what 